All right, well, I'm here today with Terry Foster, one of our instructors at OLLI. Um, Terry, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to talk to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Megan. <laughs> so, Terry, um, for people that don't know you, can you give us a little introduction on who you are and all of that? Well, I'm a Kentucky boy who came up here in 1995. Mm -hmm. And uh, president of the, of the university at that time says, there's a retired rabbi here who wants a program for older people. Would you help him start it? And that was part of my job when I came here. And so I've been involved since day one, actually way before day one, to get the program set up. Oh, wow. So you were a uh, part of Ollie before it was Ollie. Correct. It was senior <laughs> college, Ollie's predecessor. Wow. But I had no idea you were here for that long. That's fantastic. Ollie in 1995 planning and then we started our programs in 1997. Wow. And then we changed to the title Ollie in 2000. Okay. Wow, that is so interesting. So what is your favorite thing or things about Ollie? Teaching. <laughs> <laughs> I not much wanted to take other people's classes because I was a lifetime student. I'm tired of taking classes. I like to So you've taught for so long. Do you have any um, wisdom to share with people about teaching classes? Teach something that you think other people would like to hear about and have lots of examples. Like I teach music classes mostly, plus mm -hmm. classes. But in my music classes, I want them to hear a lot of music Either I'm going to play it on the piano or on my accordion, or we will see lots and lots of videos <laughs> of other people playing, particularly the ones we're talking about. If we're talking about some star that's done a song that everybody loves. So your summer class is going to be one of the few that's in person this this time around. Um, can you give us a quick summary in a few sentences of what your summer course will be like? Well, for years, I've been playing handbells and later hand chimes. Mm -hmm. Hand chimes are easy to play, and we will show a very short video in just a minute what they are. You'll see some Asian young people who are very, very good at playing hand chimes. But our class will be out in my side yard. It's all flat. There'll be no steps or anything unless you go inside uh, to the restroom. Uh, we will have the class out there. Everybody will have a chair and something to put their music on. And they'll play one or two chimes. They're very easy to hold. If you drop them on the ground, it's not going to hurt them. If they were handbells. They would, uh, you know, have some problems that way. Mm -hmm. But uh, the music will be easy. It will be stuff that people know in their head to some extent. Uh, you don't have to be a musician to play hand chimes. You have to be able to count at least up to six and you have to pay attention. Look at your music and see where your note comes and why it's in that particular, se particular sequence. We'll take a break, maybe have a little glass of wine or something and then <laughs> back and play some more. And if we get good enough, maybe we'll suggest to Ollie that we have a venue where we can play either over Zoom or in person outdoors, at least for I think we can figure a way to do that. Um, so meeting in person for anyone who is COVID conscious, what precautions are you going to be taking to keep your class participants safe? Number one, outside. Number two, masks and social distancing. Great. All right. Would you like to see a video of some kids playing hand chimes? Yes, yes I would. Short one here. I'll go to share screen.
we already know that all these fall classes are slated to be on Zoom as well. Um, and you also teach a, a pop-up or hold a pop-up discussion um, that's called the Ollie Cocktail Hour. You know, it's extremely popular um, and you'll be taking a break for the summer. But do you have any thoughts on um, continuing to use Zoom as we transition into person? I'll be teaching a course on the pop music and culture of the 1970s in the fall. So it's on Zoom again, but I'm hoping by winter I will be able to be back in the classroom because I do better in the classroom. Fingers crossed for that. <laughs> All right, so any final words to potential um, summer participants? Don't be afraid if you'd like to try the hand signs. It is so easy. You just hold them and ring them at the right time and you'll have fun. Class is limited to 18. I can make sure everyone's safe. And that's enough to play chords and play the melodies. And at one time, I'll probably take the piano out in the yard and hook it up and play along with the hand chime. So great. Um, so if you're interested in signing up for this course, make sure you wake up at midnight because <laughs> there might not be many seats left. Well, Terry, thank you so much for talking with me and um, good luck with your summer course. Thank you, Megan, for all you do. Have a great day. Hi, everyone. This is Rob Hisson, Program Coordinator for OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute at USM. We hope that you've enjoyed this presentation. If you're interested in signing up for this course or any of the other courses we are offering at Ollie this summer, please sign into the online registration system starting May 12th at midnight. Yes, I do mean midnight. So if you're a night owl, please stay up late. And once midnight hits, sign into the system, pay your membership, and add classes to your cart. And then check out and pay. It's that easy. If you do have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and contact us. Our contact information will be on the following slide. Thank you.